Uh, real quick on the Taiwan guidance, the PRC guidance regarding Taiwan that, uh, uh, that, that, that includes allowing the death penalty for individuals who are deemed advocates of Taiwan uh, independence. I'm co-chair of the Congressional Taiwan Caucus. To any of our witnesses, uh, given that Taiwan recently inaugurated a democratically elected president, how is the PRC using its surveillance capabilities to surveil or jail pro-Taiwan individuals in China? This raised um, another very important question, which is the uh, PRC state uh, extended their uh, ability, uh, not only surveillance, but cyber attack uh, way beyond of PRC borders. That uh, uh, whether you're Taiwan independence or other uh, activists or, or uh, political figures or even you know any, any, any other sector, if the Chinese state uh, uh, targeted you, their uh, espionage and particularly the cyber attack goes leaves no space that that, that uh, as a state power. Uh, therefore, uh, it's not just the citizen of Taiwan needs to watch. Uh, their uh, what they do, their activities around the world, but anyone who, if the uh, PRC identified their enemy. So that caused the United States and any sovereign states to give a strong measure to protect their own citizens and uh, to counter that kind of uh, beyond the PRC border attack.